And this evening, the 45th gentleman to be inducted into the uh, Great Northern Hall of Fame is Mr. Don Brewer. Don was born in Barry's Bay in 1935 and his family moved then to North Bay in 1947. Don formed the band Don Rose and the Chords in 1959. Prior to hitting the nightclub scene in 61, Don also played the drums, guitar, and he's called, and he called square dances. Don and the Chords were the house band at the Commodore Hotel six nights a week, from 65 to 69, and at the Voyager Hotel three nights a week. From 1970 to 77, they also found time to do live radio shows at CFCH on Saturday mornings with Bernie Meehan. Plus, played in hospitals and many private parties. He is known for his popularity, his energetic stage presence, and his compassion for his fans. And if you guys are here last night to see this gentleman go at her on stage, you can see why he's energetic. That's one thing for sure. Don headlined two TV live shows during the 1960s. MIAD Melody Time and Club 62 and made many guest appearances on TV with Vic Vergilly and Errol Prescott. His signature song, Love You From a Distance, was recorded in 1993 and later picked up and recorded by the Mercy Brothers who took it to number 12 on the hit Canadian country music charts. Congratulations on that, Don. In 1990, Don said goodbye to the nightclub scene, but never hung up his guitar. Today he entertains his friends in local nursing homes and does many fundraisers. He is in a duo called Two of a Kind with Roger Bertrand. Don is president of the North Bay Musicians and Entertainers Hall of Recognition. I wondered what that was, Don. Congratulations on doing that. You do a lot of work there. He was inducted into the Hall of Recognition in 2009 and also to the Nipissing Country Wall of Honor in 2011. Congratulations on those two awards, Don. It's got at the bottom here, and I think this is Don, someone in Don's family wrote this, maybe. He was a young troubadour when he came in, and he'll be an old troubadour when he goes out. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Don Rose, the 45th member being inducted into the Great Northern Ontario Country Music Hall of Fame. Before he takes the microphone, we still have some more things to be taken care of here, Don. Oh, yeah. We, uh, we have some awards to present to you. Uh, Frank and Cheryl, Robbins, would you please come up? Oh, no, not him again. Oh, I got to talk again. <laughs> uh, Don, we want to present you. This is from the, on behalf of the province of Ontario and the residents of Nipissing. It's from Victor Fridelli, our MPP for Nipissing. And it's congratulations on being inducted into the Northern Ontario Country Music Hall of Fame. The stories this guy can tell. The stories this guy can tell. There's more to him than Bo Diddley. <laughs> Next, please welcome Irvin Borland to the stage. He will be making a presentation on behalf of Al McDonald, the mayor of North Bay, Ontario. Well, thank you. Well, on behalf of uh, our mayor, I don't think. <laughs> but anyways, on behalf of uh, the Mayor uh, Al McDonald uh, of North Bay, uh, we'd like to uh, thank uh, Mr. Don Rose here for being uh, such uh, a shining star yeah, in our uh, community. And uh, we thank you very much, Don. Thank you. Don, there will always be a forthcoming here, a presentation uh, on behalf of the federal member of parliament uh, in your district, Anthony Rota, and it'll be uh, available at a later date. Because of the election and whatnot, they didn't have a member in power until uh, 
Wednesday, I guess it was, when uh, they were all sworn in. So now on behalf of the uh, Provincial Member of Parliament, Vic Fidelli, please make welcome back to the stage again, Frank and Cheryl. You're making me nervous. <laughs> In our district, um, the Conservatives were voted out and the Liberals were voted in. And Anthony called me on Wednesday to apologize, but he didn't have his certificates yet. But he wanted to call you that day, and I said, No, you can't do that. It's a surprise. <laughs> We're going out for a beer with him later, okay? <laughs> Sorry about that, Don. That's just the way the government works, I guess. Anyway, uh, we've got one more uh, presentation, and Mr. Dave Patterson, the NLCMA president, will uh, present. Oh, well, we got one more. got a gun, I want to get rid of this guy. <laughs> this is to Don Rose in recognition of extraordinary achievements in the field of country music. The CCMA celebrates Don Rose induction as a lifetime ambassador of country ambassador. Did I say that right? <laughs> yeah, okay. okay. Of country music. And it gives me great pleasure. And I first met Don and his wife when one of the shows I went down to on calendar. Uh, I don't know if they know it yet or if it's going to cost them, but they seem to have adopted me at that point. <laughs> I, I feel pretty proud. Not quite, Doc. No, we've still got a little more work to go through here yet. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Northern Ontario Country Music Hall of Fame inductee from the Nipissing District for the year 2015. Please welcome Mr. Don Rose. Uh, what am I gonna say now? How, how's my hair, by the way? Um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of uh, lost the words. I'm, I'm not usually, well, basically I'm shy. But right now I'm a little bit lost for words, but uh, thank you so much, uh, everyone. Um, I want to thank Dave Patterson. Um, I got to know Dave about three years ago, and I found out one thing right away quick. If you want to say something, you say it quick, because Dave's going to take over, and you don't get another word in. I want to thank Frank and Cheryl uh, for, um, they, well, I guess they started all this, uh, for inducting me or uh, recommending or me for to be inducted into the Hall of Fame, I really appreciate it. Um, I'm a little bit disappointed tonight because at dinner tonight, Frank said he was going to wear the dress, but Cheryl's got it on. Um, I want to thank um, all the inductees for the, into the Northern Opry. Congratulations, guys uh, and girls. You, you, I, I watched you all tonight. You did a fabulous job. Every one of you deserve it. Congratulations. For that, I want to thank um, uh, or congratulate Al Moody, the, other, the uh, second inductee into the Hall of Fame. I, I listened to Al this afternoon and last night, and I'm certainly glad that I'm in front of him because I certainly wouldn't want to follow him. He was he, he, he fantastic. Um, another quick thing I want to there were 95, 94 people that I know of came up on the buses, two buses from North Bay. They're all out there this afternoon. Right? Um, I'm a little bit sorry that I'm not, I, I understand that there was more fun on bus two than yeah! bus one. I just realized that bus number one, we're all old over there. But we did have some fun when we woke up after. after we had some fun. Um, and, and, and not only that, from the bus from North Bay, but I have this 
two special people that, that, that I met in Cuba about four years ago. I was sitting in a bar and I sang a song called Jeremiah Was a Bullfrog. Because these people on the other side of the piano asked for it. The guy playing the piano didn't know it, so I just started singing it. And uh, we became very good friends. And there it came all the way from Wallaceburg, where that's close to Sarnia, Douglas Deanna. And thanks to see you. But they were the real, didn't know they were coming. It was a special surprise. And um, certainly not least, but my most important is my wife Alice. We've been together, well, we've been together since 1947, but we didn't get married till 1957. And um, we've been married 58 years, and I have to tell you, I have put her through a lot, a lot, a lot of stress <laughs> in the music business. From day in and day out, I've been working, and uh, sometimes I forgot to come home. And, and as a matter of fact, when we left North Bay, Yesterday, we got as far as Sturgeon, and I realized I forgot to, to, to bring her with me, so we had to go back again. <laughs> when you get to be my age, you forget a lot of things. But anyways, um, Alice, um, without you, I would never be where I am today. And, uh, I really She's my right arm, my left arm, and both legs, and everything in between. And a couple of years ago, I was in Branson, Missouri, and I saw Mickey Gilley sing a song called That's All That Matters To Me, and I'd love to sing it for you tonight. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> 